We made it to the Philippines, but this time we're joining up with my family. And what better place to meet up than Mobile? We got my mom. Watch her conquer the highest peak in Cebu. My sister, who's competing with Robert on who's a better cliff jumper. My brother, a gamer who's somehow braver than all of us. And of course, Alejandra. She finally gets to free dive. Oh, and me. Just soaking in all those special moments. It's a family vacation, y'all. Our first one internationally. This is 72 hours in Mobile. Let's go. I'm the security. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for driving us. Ready? Ready to check out some waterfalls? Yes. We're doing 14 miles today, all uphill, 2,000 feet elevation. Is that long? 14 miles. No. Are you recording? Yeah. Also oh, another waterfall yeah. to Ready? Ready? Okay. Hi, welcome to the Philippines. Okay. Well, sounds good. Me, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube intro. Hi. So today, guess what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have the hype. Yeah. You gotta have the hype. Uh huh. Today's our first official day exploring Cebu area. We got a private car, and the family and I are going to check out some waterfalls. At least one, maybe two. Just depends how we feel. Mom's gotta hike a little bit, so. Let's see how she does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had put the keys in here and I took my own. Yep. <laughs> Charlie B is a place to be. Get ready for a photo, guys. <laughs> Ready, Mom? <laughs> We're gonna do the Osmania Peak first. Before the waterfall. We have a personal tour guide. I guess that's included with the entrance fee. 50 pesos a person. Pretty clear sky, so I think we're gonna get some pretty awesome views here. Look at that, Mom. Beautiful. Go, Mom, go. Go, Mom, go. Where are we hiking to? Osmeña. Osmeña? Osmeña. Osmeña Peak. Got some vines here. Type of squash looking plant. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But what's it called though? I can't think of the name. We're still working our way up here. Got some plants. What? Chayote. My mom's saying that this plant looks like the same vegetable called chayote in Spanish. It took a while to get here. <laughs> it was a windy road to finally get to this viewpoint here. Over hour drive. Yeah, I was trying to look straight. Oh yeah, do you want to get car sick? And I have this for Nice. Yeah, because we're a big group, we had to run a private car. But it is a nice car, good AC. Feel very spoiled. Oh, it's Menya Peak. So hopefully it's worth it. I think it will be. I love the beautiful rocks that peek out of the forest. Don't those look nice, Ma? Yeah. I think it's limestone, actually. What? These rocks. Really? This yeah. is the expedition group here. <laughs> Got my with our guide too. there. What's your name? Ah, An. An is going to make sure that we, we're safe. We're not, we don't get bit by rattlesnakes. <laughs> Robert? Say, say something, sassy. He <laughs> doesn't like to be put on the spot. Steve? What's up? Got anything to say? It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be great. The weather is not too bad, even though it's humid. We got this. Yeah, we have a good He's a vlogger. You look like you're ready to hike. You're connecting with nature, huh? We got wild strawberries? Mm -hmm. Berries? Yeah. Yes, please. For the kids. Ah, the wild strawberry. Oh yeah, pretty sweet. Sour too. That was good. That's good. I want more. Yeah, I know. You seen a little yeah, spice. That was good. 
Robert in the spice. Everything needs to have jalapenos. He wants pepper. He wants um. <laughs> Tahi. Tahi. Almost there. Show, show your, show the camera your bar trick. <laughs> the the cross-eyed. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna jump though. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Give me an R. Alright, another long drive. We made it to the waterfall. It's a mandatory guide, so both stops are mandatory guide. The other one was included in the entrance fee. This one's not, so it was three, it's 300 for the guide, and then it's 70 to get in, so a little different here. We're gonna go hang out at the waterfall, jump in, have some swims, and then there's also some cliff diving spots. We'll see how sketchy it is. Uh, maybe we'll do it. We'll see. Hello. Welcome to Inambaha. Thank you. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Woo. That, that initial dunk is always cold. <gasps> <laughs> All right, our turn to jump. All right, our first cliff jump in the Philippines. So I'm always nervous because I'm afraid of heights. Nice and fun!
Done hanging out the waterfall here. We had a great time. Robert Tucker the spear of cliff diving. So did my sister. We hung out underneath the waterfall. With, they have a rock perfectly placed underneath the waterfall, and you just get to splash and just jump off of it and have a good time. And then Stephen and all hundred jump on the higher version because they're daredevils. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. good experience actually and I really like that the water's super clean nice and blue and it's not too cold so it was really cool like the guy thing is kind of unnecessary but honestly he was a really nice guy and he took care of my mom and gave her a life jacket and just did little things like that and then also helped us make sure we didn't fall getting to the cliff jumping point so like it was it's such a short walk to the waterfall so it's not necessary but I did enjoy his company John and then we came to this lower portion here, the lower part, portion of the waterfall. And it's a lot more shallow for people that are not so confident swimming with the current of the waterfall. But I love the view that's just right here. So check this out. This is like the best view of the both waterfalls dropping here. Check this out. So yeah, all in all, good experience. What'd you think, Rob? It's scary. <laughs> Would I do it again? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> you conquered your fear. Uh, conquered? You. I defeated it for today. <laughs> not tomorrow. We'll see. A real tough. We're hopping back into our taxi van and then we're gonna go get something to eat for dinner. And that'll be a wrap for today. And tomorrow we're gonna do some canyoneering. So Robert's gonna be scared all over again. Uh, waterfall! <laughs> <laughs> Good? Thank you! Alright, it's another day of exploring Cebu. Today we're going to do some canyoneering. Uh, we found this place online. They got really, really good reviews. The check-in process is pretty crowded, so it's definitely a popular one. But what I think they do, I think they separate groups. So they pick everybody up in this big white truck that has a cover from different hotels and stuff. But I don't think we're all going together. We're still trying to piece it together, but you can zip line. We're going to hike to the starting point, but a lot of people are going to zip line to the starting point. So we'll see. Hopefully it gets a little less crowded, but um, so far I got good vibes. They seem very professional. It's just a little, it's kind of a lot of people, so we'll see how they manage it. Let's go. All right, we're suited up, we've got life jackets and helmets, ready to do some canyoneering. <laughs> Please only come here if you're not scared of heights. <laughs> what you don't see is a poop in my pants. <laughs>
Canyon. Huh? This Lock Canyon. Lock Canyon? Before, huh? Just right there, buddy. Yes. Right here. Yeah. From here? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Just right there, buddy. Like I'm sleeping in LA now. Go like this. Three. Oh. I didn't see you. I was talking to oh, Steve, yeah. so I didn't oh. see how far. So he's like, from here? I was like, oh shit! Uh, you go separate way. Separate way. You jump that way, Val, jump this way. Okay. Okay? Okay. Ready? Ready! One! Two! Three! Cut! Oh. Okay! Uh, Robert, why are your legs so smooth, buddy? <laughs> I can't relax. Relax your head, Robert. There you go, buddy. Oh, it's impossible to relax. Me too. It's possible. I feel stressed ah, doing it. I'm ah, tilting. I'm tilting. Ah, I'm tilting. I feel like I'm being bored. <laughs> Is this how it feels to be bored? <laughs> it's so bright. Okay. I'm twisting. <laughs> so straight via, straight via, straight via. Oh, okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Whew. Whew. I don't want to do it. The train was intense. I was like, where are we going? I need to see. Oh, I know. The green one. Yeah. That's why I like the train because we were able to look at it. Are you having fun? Yeah, it's fun. Really you like crazy. jumping? Yeah. Or is it or do you get anxiety? <laughs> oh, so it's just me then. <laughs> <laughs> you little jokester. Put up my nose. I had him plug it. <laughs> Nice, that feels good. Oh yeah, this one's strong. It's about to take my shorts off. <laughs> I'm showing, I'm showing my brother my butt cheeks over here. Okay, so just in case you get hungry in the canyon along the way, they gotta stop here for barbecue. <laughs> We're going through a cave. Cave tunnel. Okay. Whoa. This is sick. This Look into the camera. Huh? Show the camera. <laughs> Your boogers. Yeah, that's fucking scary. <laughs> My heart was like. I don't like it when it's on me. Like, make sure you jump over there. I I'm know, like, I don't oh, like that I'm either. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump over something not to jump. <laughs> Robert and Val got over their fear of cliff jumping. We got some really high jumps in and then we also got to just relax a little bit up on our backs and just soaking the view which i thought actually was a pretty special moment because it's like just slowed all the adrenaline down oh yeah so yeah all in all solid i like the music it's a nice break point Right, break time's over just a quick one for a granola bar and we're back on trail <laughs>
<clears throat> this is all you, Rob. 10 meter. What? It is taller? Yeah, it's the tallest one today. Uh, I thought we were done. adventure there's schools of sardines currently in season right now just 10 minutes by tuk-tuk from where we're staying and so there's supposed to be millions of them out here so we're gonna go check them out do some snorkeling maybe a little bit of free diving and see if we can get closer to these sardines take some showers and get the salt water off of us and we'll say it was eight dollars is that including the gear and the guide yeah and included two guides two buoys if you got tired mm -hmm. so a snorkel mask no fins no fins um your, snor and your mask and your snorkel your mask and your snorkel which were yeah. pretty good they even had prescription ones for my brother because he's yeah, blind yeah that was so cool and he oh. actually could see in, uh, from his snorkel mask which yeah. was crazy yeah and like we saw two sea turtles and a ton of sardines mm -hmm. and then they didn't rush us we just kept free like all and i just kept practicing our free dives uh -huh. and it was so cool and then my sister's like was with a life jacket so they helped like the stuff come up by us free diving so she got to see a lot even just at the surface just doing like basic snorkeling yeah and it was really cool for all of us to kind of just be out there and practice and like kind of feel safe so i think the guides were really worth it this time it's so cheap like yeah and honestly they've been super nice yeah so. It was really cool to see the sardines and like it was all overall it was a great day. We're about to head out to a family dinner tonight, but we did canyoneering and snorkeling. It took an entire day mm -hmm. here in Cebu because everything's like kind of you have to drive a little bit. But overall, I think it was an amazing stop. Tomorrow, my family and I split ways. 
they're all going home and all hundred and I are continuing our journey through Philippines. So I'm feeling really good and really excited because one, I got to see my family, but two, the Philippines has got good vibes. Oh, yeah. It's got really so good far, vibes so like, far. So we're like, we're pumped to see the rest of it and hopefully the experiences like stay the same. I had an absolute blast hanging out with my family in the Philippines. It was way too short and time went by super fast, but we still packed in so much adventure. All the Filipinos are great hosts treating me and my family and especially my mom with caring smiles and of course jokes and laughs. I got to witness Val and Robert overcome a tremendous fear. I got to enjoy hanging out with my mom and watch her soak in a new culture. I got to see the crazy adventurous side of my brother Steven and I got to see Alejandro finally become a fish in the water again. I wish they could continue with us as we travel the Philippines for the next 40 days. Days, but sadly they all have to head home safe travels everyone and have some in and out and some street tacos for me when you get back home